welcome to Pro Football Now. We're heading into week nine and doing things a little bit different today with our writers from the MMQB.com, Jenny Rentis and Albert Breer. We're giving out some midseason awards, but not your usual awards, yep. making things a little bit different because you guys are unique talents. Let's yes. start with the best decision that's been made in this young season. Jenny, what do you think it is? I'm going to say the Chiefs training up to draft Patrick Mahomes. Not because Mahomes has seen the field. Obviously, Alex Smith is doing quite well as a starter. But for the extra push that it gave Alex Smith, you know, from that point on, he got better at throwing the deep ball. We've seen the Chiefs offense really open up this year. Alex Smith looks like the kind of player who could, you know, lead his team to the, an AFC championship, which in the past it seemed like they were always kind of going to be stuck at one of these early mm -hmm. playoff rounds. So I think – the drafting of Mahomes really gave Smith an extra kick in the butt that to maybe get over the hump. And I think you've really seen a, a, a little bit different player this season as a result. I'm Which is funny because you could go the Chiefs fired their GM before and then right. had to make that trade. So it's actually a lot of dominoes with that answer. There's no question. And that's a good one. But I'm going to go with the obvious one, which is the Texans trading up for Deshaun Watson. And this is a team that since Bill O'Brien got there in 2014, a lot of half measures at quarterback. They bring in Ryan Fitzpatrick. They brought back Case Keenum. They bring in Brian Hoyer. They trade for Ryan Mount. They bring in Brock Osweiler. And every time they made one of these moves, it felt like they're kind of dipping their toe in the water at quarterback, but they're not jumping in with both feet. They finally jump in with both feet. I don't think everybody in the building was 100% sold on the idea of it when they went and did it. But, man, I mean, like what we've seen to this point, he's checked off every box. On top of it, I think the way he prepares and the way that he goes about his job has convinced people in that building who needed to be sold on him after they drafted him that this is the right guy. I've talked to Bill O'Brien about it a couple different times where he said that everything we've put in front of the kid, he's shown an ability to absorb it. I mean, going back to like when they were on their break um, between the spring and the summer, and Bill would, from Cape Cod, text Deshaun Watson, hey, what about this? What about that? The answers would come right back. And so I think there's a lot going into what we've seen thus far with Deshaun Watson. And I think we all know this, is when you've got that position taken care of, it changes everything for your franchise, everything about the way you build your team, the way you build your offense. Everything gets easier when you've got that position taken care of. And you could argue... The Texans now have more high-end potential at that position than they've ever had, even going back to when they took David Carr first overall or when they traded for Matt Schaub 2006, seven, somewhere in there. You are not going to be able to find anyone in the building who was against drafting and moving up to get to Sean Watson. They are going to be like yeah. hiding under the <laughs> pillow somewhere. They're not going to come out anymore.